Uh, I think this was our best game of coming out there with the mentality of uh, going one know no matter if it's a good play or a bad play, go out there with the uh, next play, the most important play mindset. And I think we uh, responded well to adversity that was uh, throughout the game with uh, penalties, whether that's on defense, giving up a third down, making it first down, and still getting off, being able to get off the field. And, uh, just little things like that that we still continue to grow off on. And, um, Continue to respond in a one and way. I think that's the biggest thing. Just go one and zero. Don't worry about the result or the outcome or the game or that play. And, uh, just keep being consistent in those things. Second straight game with uh, three turnovers for the defense and uh, second straight first half shutout. Do you think the defense is uh, starting to really find themselves? Yeah, I think uh, it all reverts back to what I was talking about. Going one and zero. That's the biggest thing we've been preaching this. Uh, playing to the Bama standard and going 1-0 and not worrying. If it's a good play, cool, 1-0 next play. If it's a bad play, cool, brush it off, 1-0 next play. And I just think that's one thing that we continue to harp on, uh, even throughout practice when uh, somebody might catch a ball on you or you might mess up something in practice. It's always 1-0, uh, 1-0, next play, next play. So I think uh, that's becoming a model of our team, and I think uh, we're trading in the right direction. What was your perspective on your, your interception? Um, we knew that they like to go to number three, and I was kind of was just leaning that way. And uh, I've been trying to work on being more patient in the pose and kind of letting the quarterback take me to the ball, and, and that's what happened. And, uh, give all glory to God, man, give me the ability to go out there and uh, play the game that I love, and um, I just uh, capitalize on the opportunity. What you see out of Brady today? Oh, um, I see what I saw out of Brady today is what I see every day at practice since he's been here. Um, one of the hardest working guys on our team, one of the most unselfish guys in terms of uh, having a big role on special teams, but also continuing to prepare like a starter. Um, never complains or, or pouts about playing time. You know, like I said, he just continues to prepare and work each and every day to be the best version of himself. And um, his work definitely is starting to show in the field, and I'm very proud of him. Hey, Mal, I saw you got really emotional when you got the timeout with the one, and then you guys get the stop to get the shutout. How, how, how big was that for you? Oh, that was definitely big for us as a defense, man. I think um, we wanted to finish the game off on the right foot. So it, um, the whole game, we kind of was just going on a one and no mentality. And then when it gets to the end, uh, we don't want to give up any score. So for us to come back in the game and uh, get a big fourth and goal stop on a, but the ball's on the what? One? Yeah, the one? Yeah, that's a, that's a big time stop. And uh, it says a lot about our team responding to adversity. I feel you like you were maybe like, Calling for a timeout. What did you see? Yeah, I was calling for a timeout. We kind of got in a little in a little pickle. There was too many people on the field. I had counted and seen there were too many people. So uh, I had seen Coach DeBoer call for it first, and so then I was trying to just help him out on that. Sharing that moment with your brother at the end of the game, what was it like for you and your family? Oh man, it was a blessing. Um, we've never been actually been able to, been able to be on the same team before. So uh, just to have him on the sideline with me here at the University of Alabama. Um, him just taking it all in. I was just asking him the whole time, like, you having fun? Like, it's cool? Like, it's different? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, just a blessing and um, glad that he's here with me. As a captain, do you feel it's a personal responsibility to be some sort of like the today? Uh, yes. I think as a captain, um, your team going to look to you to lead in multiple ways, vocally and uh, leading by example. And so I just think uh, on game day, it's, it's my duty to just go around and keep everybody positive. Um, no matter if the offense having a tough time, we're having a tough time, uh, no matter what's going on in the game, uh, keep everybody uh, positive and, 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 and in a good mood so we can go out there and execute. With Bray stepping into the lineup, have you had to communicate with him more as the leader back there? Does he know the offense just as good as Sab? Yeah, he knows the defense just as good as Sab. Um, Bray Hubbard is one of those guys that come in and uh, prepares like he's a starter each and every day. And it's something we preach not only just in the safety room, but uh, to our whole team. Like, you College football is a is a crazy thing. You never know what can happen on, on, on Saturday. So everybody has to be ready because when that time comes, you want to go out there. You want to make production for yourself, create value for yourself and for your team. And um, Bray does a great job of, of doing that. I think that's 10 takeaways for the defense the last three games. Just what do you maybe attribute that to? Uh, just our – it's something that we're constantly talking about. Um, I think today we didn't take as many shots at the ball – on ball carriers as we did, but we did go get them out the air. So just this always a, a point of emphasis of us is attacking the football. And uh, usually when you uh, when you emphasize things like that, it tends to be in your brain and be, in your, be on your mind during the play, and you kind of tend to take shots at the ball and uh, just keep taking shots, no matter if it's if you miss or not. Like keep taking shots, because one of them gonna come out eventually.
I don't got to talk about that interception, but kind of the spark plug. It was a little bit of time and then coming out with such a sense of the second half. How did they really focus on those emotions? Yeah, um, I would just say I was just out there doing my job, uh, letting the quarterback pull me to where he was throwing the ball. And, um, uh, shout out to the line for getting pressure on the quarterback. And, um, I just made the play when it was there, and I gotta go score though, man. I gotta go score. I can't keep cutting across the field. I gotta go score. I felt like uh, obviously Luther Burden is one of the better players in the country. You guys uh, really uh, shut him down today. What was kind of the game plan for him coming into the day? Um, we knew that he was definitely the the star player of their offense and definitely one of the top players in the country. So we knew that the ball was going to go to him. But every day we go against great receivers or best receivers in the country here. So um, just coming into the game and really uh, follow back on our training and what we do every day at practice and from guarding guys like Ron Williams, Jerm, uh, Kobe Prentice, Kayla, all those guys over there give us great looks each and every week. And so when we um, had to play somebody that's up to that caliber, it's, it's kind of not something that's new for us. But, uh, he's a great player, but we uh, went out there and executed today. Malik, I, I, I don't want you to give away too much of your game plan, but I'm curious. Like, what was disrupting Missouri's offense most, Jim? Was it the pressure? Was it the different pictures you guys were giving? Was it like what? What was it most? Uh, if I'm being honest, I think it was just everybody doing their job. All 11 doing their job. Um, I think that's the biggest thing that we take away from this year is we go back and we look at the film of when we didn't execute or we give up big plays. It's uh, somebody not doing their job. So I, uh, I, I guess I got to go back and watch the film, but I guess everybody was out there doing their job. Could you, I mean, did, did you guys feel that? Like, what does dominance defensively like, feel like on a sideline? When you know you guys are taking each other out, there's a li is there a little bit more swagger? Is there a little bit more uh, uh, I would say I would say we're not as tired. It feels great getting off the field. So uh, I think that's a key thing for us is getting off the field and getting that rest. <laughs> Do you feel like you guys have improved in that over the course of the last four games? And definitely. I feel like we've been doing a better job of uh, getting off the field, especially on third down, uh, getting the ball back to our offense. Three takeaways for you the last two games. I mean, how were you able to kind of move on from, from all that stuff that happened a few weeks ago, all the criticism you got, move on from that, refocus, and play the football that you're playing right now? Right. Uh, I got a great support staff around me from my family to my girl to my teammates and my brother. So, uh, having them just being positive and speaking to them all week and kind of just uh, put it behind me. I apologize. I take accountability for the actions that I did. And, uh, I know what I did was wrong. And, um, just going one to know next play, next day, uh, next rep, and uh, continue to do my job on the field. In what ways do you think that the defense is going to turn the corner the last couple weeks since Saturday? I would say um, we're holding on, honing in on the little things um, at practice. Um, Watching everybody at practice, making sure everybody gets the ball, no walking on the field, um, shirts sucked in, um, making sure we do mess up, we reload it. Uh, basically, not leaving room for error. That's the biggest thing. Um, and I think that's the thing that uh, we have to continue as a team to, to hone in and in on and continue to be hungry, but also playing the better way and uh, continue to be disciplined. What sort of role did Tyler play this week? Oh yeah, T Book did a did a great job this week of being on guys. Um just really being that, that leader that we need um on that side of the ball and, and as a team. And T Book's one of those guys that we look to every week and um, every day to, to bring that energy and he does a great job of that leading by example every day and uh, also challenging the guys around him to step up and that's what great leaders do, make the guys around him better. So he's a great leader for us. Is it kind of a rallying situation you know with the team? You can't lose again if you want to get your goals. Right. Does that bring the team together? Does it focus? Does it... it definitely, it definitely brings the team together. I would say it kind of gives. Um, kind of same situation that we was in last year. Um, backs against the wall, but. Me personally, that's why I feel like I perform my best. And as a team, I feel like we perform my best when we have no option but to go out there and perform and come out with a Bryce Bray Hubbard said he didn't 